This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. Today's Truth Nugget is about fighting the battle by righteous living. James chapter 4 Starting at verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. It begins with submission. Uh, We need to submit to God. We need to submit to his word. Uh, We need to stop fighting against uh, parts of his word that we might not want to obey uh, begins with submission obedience to god from the heart submit there yourselves therefore to god resist the devil here we resist the devil and what he will flee from you so it begins with submitting to god uh, we resist the devil by walking in submission by walking in humility and he will flee from us and then We can draw near to God, as verse 8 says, and he will draw near to us. But there's a cleansing, there's a submission to God, there's walking in humility, and uh, this is how we fight the fight of faith. This is the spiritual warfare. Uh, The true battle is fighting against our flesh, fighting against the temptations, that the enemy throws at us the schemes of the devil, as Ephesians 6 uh, states. We need to remember that, and we need to fight against those things. And the way that we fight against it is by walking in purity, staying close to the Lord, uh, spending time with him deeply in prayer, worshiping him, spending time in his word, and applying his word uh, by continually being obedient to his word. This is what John MacArthur has to say about this. He says, Satan wants us to laugh at sin rather than mourn over it and to rationalize it rather than confess it and bring it to the Lord for forgiveness. He seduces us to become so used to sin in us and around us that it no longer bothers our conscience. That's exactly right. There's a a, he wants us to think it's not a big deal when we sin, and he wants us to think that uh, it's not important to confess it. It's not important to walk in obedience, uh, even if we have a right doctrinal understanding of things. Uh, Satan would like us to think that uh, growing in the Christian walk might be that we grow in our knowledge of the word, but not necessarily our our application of the word. No, we must know God's truth so that we can apply God's truth and continually confess our sins and walk in obedience to him. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Father, I pray that you would help us to continually come to you, confess our sins to you, confess to those who we've sinned against so that we can obtain your mercy. I pray it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you for joining me for today's Truth Nugget. I pray that it was a blessing. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.